Today we're doing boat trailer upgrades. Stay tuned. Welcome to Mad Outdoor Adventures, where we'll be in the woods or on the water with our family and friends. Let's find an adventure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a beautiful Saturday morning. And instead of out catching walleye or bass or bluegill or anything, I am doing trailer upgrades. Uh, wife works this weekend. I don't really have another adult to go that would want to go. I don't really feel comfortable taking my son by ourselves yet. But to be honest with you, I'm probably going to do it tomorrow because it's not fishing stuff doesn't work with me but I ended up buying a lot of stuff for the trailer boat bust out another thousand I wish I could do a sweet graphic on the screen right now maybe I'll figure that out but I spent like 400 bucks I got new bunks a new winch new wheel jack thing new lights new guidons new rollers so i'm gonna start it now i'm not gonna be able to do everything in my driveway uh, but we're going to a cabin up north this weekend where i can have the boat in the water and then i can work on the trailer without the boat on it which would be a lot easier and a lot better for me but nonetheless I won't get into it and take you along. A little update. Got that light disconnected, got that side guide, whatever. Oh, there they are laying. This one, however, did not come off. So I had to get out the enforcer and cut the bolts. So I'm gonna start continuing to take off these lights get the stuff off the trailer and then start going back I am going to paint it but I got rust-oleum spray cans it's nothing gonna be fancy but I'm not gonna do that with the boat on it so that's something else I'd have to do when we go up north but I'm gonna keep getting at it and I'll keep you guys updated along the way trailer upgrades update I had to go to Home Depot because I didn't have the right driver to put in the drill or a socket to get the side screws out because they were hex screws. I had to go to Home Depot, I got that. I got a new wrench set. How pretty it is down there. Don't tell my wife. And then I got some Loctite odds and ends. Anyway, it's got all the lights off. Cut all the wires. I'm going to try to pull them through. And then I have to go in the house and get the new light kit. And start stringing them up here. Boat. Bet on another thousand. It's so old. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it and get my money back but who knows anyways back to work there is the old wiring harness and into the trash it goes so now you may be asking but mike why are there white wires right there reason being is when i bought this boat from my papa two years ago trailer lights didn't work at all if i have to do this every two years i'm gonna be really pissed off but anyways redid all the wire lights they didn't work you can't ground them individually for whatever reason you have to tie them all together and ground them all with the ground that comes from the truck don't ask me why google it that's how I found out how to do this and it works so I'm gonna now go start feeding the new wires 
into the trailer. Trailer upgrade update. We got the wires first ran through that front part. I gotta do the sides now. We got my little helper. Helping me, we're gonna do new guide ons with PVC and then lights on top. Since the old guide ons were so bad. But we're gonna get back to it and I'll check in with you guys later. So trailer update or trailer upgrade update. So I've been working on this off and on all day today. Uh, I had to go to Home Depot, like you guys know. I don't know if you guys do know, but I had to go to Home Depot. Came back, started working on it, ate a sandwich, worked on it some more. And then had to go take our family pictures because we're like four months overdue on that because of this boat. Had dinner, my father came over, he's the one who actually takes our pictures, so he came over, we had dinner, worked on it some more, and this is where I'm at, and it's getting dark, and the mosquitoes are coming out, so I'm saying screw it. As I bat away mosquitoes, I'll pick it up in the morning. Which sucks, because I wanted to go chase some walleye tomorrow. But the wife works in the morning. Hopefully I'll be done by the time she gets home. We can just go somewhere. Gotta fish. Haven't fished yet this weekend. Spent too much time on this boat not to use it as much as possible. So, Anyways, what I've got done... It is, I got the wires ran all the way in there. Shank that down to bare metal. That's where all my ground's gonna tie in with each other. I actually used that grinder again. Here's to you, Harbor Freight. There's that guy on there. Brand new. I mounted both of the back ones. There's one. There's the other one. But my dumb butt. Of this one backwards, so I'm gonna have to take that off and redo it. I got this side mounted with that PVC. I got these lights to go on top of the PVC, which I think are gonna be really cool as long as they work. You'll see that there, so that way it will sit something like that. Easier to see me down the road in the night. Unless you chance somebody smokes my boat. And it's also, I mean, I unplug my lights when I'm back to trailer, but if I didn't do that, I could see it better. So, oh, another fun tip is these guys, as you can see, there's a big piece of cut off right there. I can't ever cut anything straight as you guys if you guys watch the boat restoration video you'll understand that I have trouble with straight lines for whatever reason I just can't do it anyways I have to cut them off because the maximum height for federal taillights is 72 inches and this thing was like 78 inches before you even put that on which adds another eight inches I don't know so I had to cut it down quite a bit and that's where I'm at so I'm gonna go in the house before I get eaten alive by these mosquitoes and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna come out here and bust my butt as I just killed a mosquito on my hand because they're ridiculous out here tomorrow morning I'm gonna come out here bust tail to do at least I don't know even bass fishing at the lake where we can't keep fish because it's closer I don't know but nonetheless I'll check back with you guys the next time I start working on it so good morning ladies and gentlemen it is like 7 a.m. excuse me Sunday morning I want to get back to work on this trailer hopefully have it done and be able to hit a lake this afternoon 
We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Trailer upgrade update. This whole right side's done. The wires are hanging here. But I want to make sure they work before I do the wire management. That post is on there. I still got to secure this. I'm probably going to secure the bottom so it doesn't rotate on me like this. Uh, my helper just got up. I wanted to come help. And there he is ratcheting. Or wrenching the other support. So I'll check in with you guys once we get this a little farther down the road. Trailer upgrade update. We got the whole right side done like you guys know. Go over to the left side. Left side's done. I added a metal license plate holder. So that way the plastic doesn't crack and lose your license plate. I then had to connect this and put liquid electrical tape on it. And then this wiring harness these two don't separate so i had to cut the one i had splice it together i'm gonna put put electrical tape on that too but i plugged it into the truck everything works in the driveway so with the other lights everything worked fine in the driveway it was when we started going down the road they would go in and out in and out some of the wires were corroded so on these connectors, I did the heat shrink connectors as were last time. They were like those three-way connectors and things that, anyways, heat shrink connectors. And I put liquid electrical tape on it to double, triple, quadruple, try to keep water out. I did that on both sides too, both side lights. I'm going to have to do the front. The lights work. I will show you guys that here after that dries and I can so that I have to wait for that to dry. I have to do wire management so they're not all loosey goosey. I gotta secure this so it doesn't rotate. I gotta secure this so it doesn't rotate. Put my license plate on. And then I think everything's done with the electrical. So, I will uh, keep you guys updated. Here's showing that the truck lights work. Alright, hit the brakes. Hit the brake. Hit the brake? Yep. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. Alright. Do the left turn signal. Do the left one. Push the stick down. That's working. That's working. All right, push it to the right. Or to the top, yep. That's working. That's working. Now turn the light knob. Push the stick in the middle. Push the stick back in the middle. Nope, in the middle. Now turn the knob. Turn the knob all the way to the right. This one? Yep. And then running lights. Wow. So they all work. Yeah, buddy. They all work. So that's done. That's all the trailer work that we're going to do here. Once I get it up north, there's a burning light too. Once I get it up north, we're going to paint it, change the front wheel jack, the winch, and the rollers. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you then. All right, ladies and gents, here we are to continue the trailer work. Boat's not on the trailer because the boat's in the water. And I'm gonna get working on this. Gonna change the rollers. 
And that thing. This guy down here. The bunks. Spray paint it black. I got some screws because this came off on the highway. I don't know if you see my up north video, if I put that in there, you'll see, which is weird because you can see this doesn't come off, but somehow it came off on the highway. But anyways, we're gonna get to work. I got my my main man. Hey, what are we gonna do? And work on this trailer, and then we're gonna go down there. See that way down there. We have to blur out our names because you can't know who I am. <laughs> and we're gonna go swimming. Yeah. So I'm gonna get to work and check in with you guys. So I have him taking off the spare tire. I just took off that front roller. No, 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 no. Don't mess this tire up because it's going to save our lives one day, maybe. Pop it up there. All right, so now we'll take this off. That off? Yep. How can we do that? The wrenches. Which one? There's two rings. I know, here. Only for a minute, I guess. You gotta find what size it is. Oh, you hear those knees pop? You know why they pop? Because I'm old and I'm fat. That will work. Okay, so I'm just gonna let me do it without one on the other side, I guess. Make sure you got me. Can I do that thing? Yeah, you gotta do the next one, okay? Okay. I'm gonna have to do it the other way now. I'm gonna have two different size babies. Gonna try a new ranch. You're gonna try one, bud, but this one's. Excuse me. I don't know if that's right or not. And then I'm gonna bring it to the string leg of it. Huh? I got an itchy on my back. Alright guys, so I got everything stripped off the boat. Those bunks are no longer there. Taped the side light. Put a bag on that light. The slide and the plate. Tape that side light. That roller's off. This roller's off. That winch is off. Safety chain's off. All that's over here, spread through the yard. Here's the old one. There's the old roller and the new roller. Old safety chain. Here's the new winch. The two front rollers. And the bolt that goes with that. The old winch, the new bunks, the old bunks, and the bolts. These new bunks, I bought them from Bass Pro. I don't know, they're pre carpeted, so I don't have to do all that again. That vinyl was enough for me. Um, so I have two cans of black spray paint. Hopefully, it's enough. If not, I'm gonna send the wife to the store. She's been napping. I've been busting my tail out here sweating. It's hotter than hell outside. My son was hoping he, he got too hot. He went inside. He's watching the Pokemon now. 
there's the new wheel. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is spray paint. This is her aunt's place. So that's why I got the cardboard down, so that way when we spray, I don't spray paint the grass. Um, so I got to sp spray it now and paint it. As it's drying, I'm going swimming because it's hot. Like I said, it's hot in hell outside and I'm sweating really bad. And then after it dries, I'm going to come up here, put the new rollers on, the new bunks on, the new winch, the new wheel, the new safety chain, and then these guys. Like I said earlier, I got new screws. I'm gonna put one in on both sides and maybe even the back. Uh, not the back, it's split, but at least another one on each side so that way it's double screwed in so hopefully it doesn't come out. I don't want to use the PVC like cement because then I'm sloppy and you'd see purple down here and I don't want that so. I'm going to just put another screw in it and hope for the best. But I'm going to get spray paint in here. Sorry I didn't show you the work of taking everything off. It's literally, this was a half inch bolt. This was on with a cotter pin. You just pull the cotter pin, you pull it out. This one was, uh, I think, 5 sixteenths. Or that was 5 sixteenths, I don't know. And then the safety chain was a half inch too. So, I'm going to get spray paint in it. And then we'll go from there. So the spray paint I'm using is just Rust-Oleum Gloss Protective Enamel. Not fancy. But, it's going to make it look better than rust spots. Try to film and do this at the same time, I guess. I mean, you guys get the idea. I'll check in with you when I'm done. So as expected, or as I feared, two cans weren't enough. I got most of it sprayed. As you can see, I just didn't finish this top here. Or the inside of that, that bar. I'm gonna have to scramble and get another can. But I'm gonna let this dry. I'm going swimming. And I will check back with you guys after I get back to work on it. So, as you can see, I went swimming. My wife went to the store. We got the spray paint. Let's see if she got the same stuff. I can say it's the same stuff. So I'm going to finish this. Let it dry. Put on the other stuff. Hopefully get the fish. But I don't think that's going to happen. But we'll see. Stay tuned. So I spray painted everything. Got a little bit left to do the bolts or whatever. And then so I'm gonna start putting the stuff on it. The bunks, the rollers, the winch, the front thing, 
Although, probably not gonna go fishing tonight. Maybe, because I don't even know what time it is. Dinner, but I'm gonna get to work. And I'll keep you guys updated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the next morning. Paint's dry. It's blotched up. Some spots, I don't know what that's about, but I don't have any more paint, so it is what it is. <clears throat> it's all painted. I got yesterday, got that roller on. This roller. And my new strap. This morning, I'm gonna put the bunks on. And that wheel. And the new safety chain. I then have to. Apparently, this is a drying post for my kids' swim stuff. Screw other screws into there. And this one to secure it. And I'll check in with you guys once I get further along. Alright, guys, so I've got the new safety chain on. Heavier duty. Yes, it's probably overkill for the boat I have, but I'd rather be overpowered than undergunned. Got the new bunks on. Put another screw into the metal so that way this doesn't rotate. Put another screw into the top so that doesn't rotate because that one's the one that flew off. This side, put another screw in so now it's got two. And then I put two screws down here. I had another one as you can see here, but it looks like the head broke off. So this was rotating. It doesn't anymore. The only thing I have left to do is that wheel. I have to put the spare tire holder back on. Now if you saw in my previous video, my boat restoration, I talked about that spare tire holder. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it, but I don't want to spend the 50 plus dollars for the one that holds it on the side. So it's going to work. So I'm going to get doing that and then check in with you guys. There she is. She's all done. Got the spare tire back on it. Got this new wheel thing. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this wheel thing. And of course, good old Bass Pro has to put their name on everything. So, yeah. She gone. Spare tires on it. So, to recap everything we did here. New wheel, jack, new winch, new safety chain, new roller up front. Was gonna do a new spare tire holder, not spending 50 bucks. New middle roller, now it actually rolls. Did that. New bunks, new trailer lights, new tires. New guide ons with the light up top. New back lights. New guide on with the light up top. The only thing really left for this thing is these are brand new tires and you can see how dirty they are. It shoots grease out. So I don't know, it's probably I gotta redo the hubs or a seal's busted or something. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with it to be honest with you. Because I'm tired of working on things. Just wanna fish. And I painted it obviously. With just good old rust oleum. Rattle can. Now I did not prime it. I did not sand it down. I know it's the proper way to do things, but looking at it, it looks a whole lot better than what it did. 
So I'll leave a link in the description below of everything that I used on this trailer. In case you liked what you saw and you want to do it. Use the same things. Um, have you ever worked on a boat trailer? Was it as much fun as this one was? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked today's video, give me that thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more outdoor content coming your way. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll find you on the next adventure.